So we're in the sport mode. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the all new Maserati Gracale. Before we get in this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Maserati of Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this Gracale. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for John. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged two liter four cylinder paired to a 48 volt mild hybrid system and an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy with this is 22 around town and then 29 on the highway with power outputs being 296 horsepower and then 332 pound feet of torque, giving this a zero to 60 time of 5.3 seconds. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see sharp lines there in the center, and then I love how it's like raised around the headlight housing. And speaking of headlights, I love the daytime running lights that this has, and then you guys can see we've got some cool like venting down below, even though it's closed off, it still looks good. Parking sensors on the front end with the Maserati Trident front and center, and then you have another Maserati logo above that. And putting it all together, this is definitely a new, unique look for Maserati. Come around the side here, time wheel setup is 255, 45, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. I love the wheel design with the silver there on the top and then you got the metallic gray below that. And then you guys can see with the brake caliper itself, that is finished in red, which looks great. So you guys can see we've got the body painted fender flares here, GT badge with the venting on the side. And then look at the chrome trim around the windows. And then notice that the door handles are actually recessed into the door itself. And then we got another Maserati Trident there on the side. And then when we take a look at the full side profile here, it definitely looks kind of like a mini Levante. Now here's our key fob for the Gracali. This is all new for Maserati. I mean, I've never seen this fob before, but anyways, you guys can see you've got your lock and unlock function. And then we also have this to open up the rear hatch. Now popping into the rear, you guys can see storage space here with the Gracali is actually really solid. And they also give you these little latches here to throw down these seats are on either side. You have a 12 volt here in the back and we have a built-in cargo cover that just pulls right out. And this even has a charger in the rear as well. Again, for that mild hybrid system, it looks like. And you can see that whole setup right there. So I guess it's more of like a, I would call it like a battery tender. Um, but anyways, great storage space here in the back. And then when you're all done, you can lock it if you want, or you can just press that and that will lower the hatch right back down. I love the look of the taillights here on the Gracali. They look very distinctive. Then you guys can see you got like your Maserati badge, you got your Gracali badge, you know, all the normal stuff. And then look at the exhaust tips for this. Again, you got a two liter four cylinder, but you got an aggressive looking exhaust for that engine. And yeah, putting it all together, I'm actually a fan of the styling in person. I wasn't so sure about the pictures, but in person it looks good. Now popping inside, this is where the magic happens. Really nice leather trim here at the top. You can see the stitching that goes throughout and then we got wood trim down below that. And then look at the design here down below. I think that looks fantastic. And then you got electronic poppers there for the door handles. And then we got stuff like our door lock and unlock and then our window control as well. But yeah, very premium looking door panel. Of course, we got the Maserati Trident there at the top of the seat. And then look at how it's perforated all down the center portion. I think that's great. And then you also have that to fold down the seat. Legroom here in the back is solid. We also have this little storage pocket right here. We've got some vents and then you guys can see some USB action down below. And then headroom's also great. And we even have a cup holder armrest. Now the front door panel is identical to the rear with all of the material use you guys can see the wood trim down below and then the cool leather design. Sunlight's kind of killing our shot right now, but anyways, we've got the popper again for the door and then look at all of our window controls here on the side. We've got our mirror adjustment here as well. And then look at the speaker here for the sound system. I've never heard of this company before. I'll have to listen. Um, obviously I can't put that on video, but I'll, I'll listen for you guys and let you know what it sounds like. And then you guys can see the mirrors themselves. And then we got the Maserati Trident there at the top of the seat. And then look how it's perforated all down the center portion. And then we have our power adjustments here on the side. Of course, another Maserati logo. And then there's a quick look at the pedals.
taking a look at the steering wheel, we've got really nice leather trim all around. And first off, I love the design of this steering wheel for a number of reasons. I love how they did like a black finish for the controls up here for the cruise control. And then you've got like your controls for center stack, phone controls, all that stuff. Then we've got cool dials here. This is for the drive mode select. And then you guys saw the engine stop start. Um, this doesn't twist at all like the drive mode select dial, but I mean, it, it still looks really cool and then of course we got column mounted paddle shifters <laughs> that's also fun and then you guys can see the stocks there on the back as well but yeah definitely just like a, a great looking steering wheel now i've got this full digital gauge cluster here in the center which we can use to scroll through different bits of info on the Krakali. pretty standard stuff i mean most modern cars have something like this um, but the fun part is obviously gonna be with the drive modes so we've got a sport mode and notice how it kind of uh, gets a little bit more aggressive with the valves and then you got your GT mode and then you have your comfort mode as well. And I love how it actually like changes the gauge a little bit depending on the drive mode. Wait a second, I found something else that's cool. So we got our cluster layout that we can change. Let's see what relax looks like. Okay, that's, pr that's actually really cool that you can fully, and again, this is one of the big benefits of going for like a full digital gauge cluster. Yeah, I like that. The Gricoli also comes with a 360 camera system, as you can see. Resolution on it is great. And I mean, you guys can see with the rear, you got trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. I mean, what more could you ask for? Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, first off, we have a shortcut bar here on the side and response time with that is actually really solid. And notice we can go to like stuff like the surround camera, but we also have performance we can dive into. That's cool that it shows you all of that information. And then it also shows you stuff on the hybrid system as well. Um, so yeah, overall great setup. It responds well and the information you can find is awesome too. Now down below we have our transmission select here. So it's a bunch of little buttons that you press in, which obviously frees up uh, space in the center console area. And then this is our secondary screen right here. Um, so first off, this is where you actually do the headlights. It took me a minute to find this out, but yeah, it's just on this uh, screen, which is yeah, definitely interesting to say the least. And then you guys can see you've got your controls for your heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. And then if you actually press the seats themselves, you got your memory function there. And we also have our ambient lighting inside as well. We're gonna do we're gonna do cold because it's it's winter time. We also have a wireless phone charging pad, and this is interesting how it just opens. You pull it with your finger. It's like a little charging area, some USBs and some storage, some cup holder action, and then look at like the nice leather trim and the stitching that goes across. And then you can see the storage space inside from the 12 volt as well. And then I want to go to the dash. Look how beautiful that is, and then look at the vent. Like this is just fantastic from a design standpoint. I like the clock here. It's very uh, modern looking. And then popping down below, you guys can see the glove box nicely felt lined as well. And then up top, we do have our controls here for the sunroof. This does have a full panoramic sunroof as all of you can see. And we have this like nice soft touch, uh, like cloth headliner. So here's the window sticker on this Gricale. This is the GT, which is the quote unquote baseline package on the Gricale. Um, but you can see all the standard equipment right there. Um, and then base MSRP 63,500. Now this has a few options added to it. Total MSRP on this one, 77,147. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off here in the Gricale. Here's your visibility of the hood and hopefully you can now see the heads up display. It even has a map with the heads up display. Hopefully that's coming up on camera because that's pretty cool. Both your mirrors and throughout the rest of the rear. And I keep forgetting. <laughs> I will say that that shifter situation, that is definitely something that it takes a second uh, to get used to it. That is for sure. But let's uh, pull this up. I'll be blind for a second just for you guys so you guys can have a better viewpoint out of the GoPro. Um, but I'm really excited to review this and something that I do want to mention is this is like the base version of the Gricali. They have more loaded up versions. I mean, there's a version with like over 500 horsepower, which once Maserati of Salt Lake gets one in, trust me, I'll be reviewing it for you guys. But yeah, super smooth. It's got the ZF8 speed auto. It's a really good transmission. Um, seat comfort's really good as well, actually. Um, these bolsters are actually pretty, um, I would say light, if that makes sense. Like they're not super aggressive, which is great. Um, so it doesn't have like a super aggressive, like on edge sports car type feel to it, the seats. Um, auto stop start was pretty seamless there. We'll see what it's like when it starts back up. Um, I love this new infotainment screen 
um, format. Now, I know a lot of people will be uh, making the uh, Stellantis comments, and here's the deal. I don't have a problem with it because the gauge cluster looks fantastic. The infotainment screen, like, it's got the little Maserati icon and it functions really well. That's all that matters. I'd rather have this than some sort of bespoke infotainment system that's super laggy and all that kind of stuff, right? It's I'd rather that they spend the money on the important stuff like the powertrain and all that. But anyways, I mean, it's for a four-cylinder. This thing sounds aggressive. And I'm I'm in the... Uh, oh, I, I almost didn't see that. I will say that's a problem with the dial. I'm like, engine stop, start dial. So I'm just in the GT uh, mode right now. We're going to the sport mode in a little bit. I love column-mounted paddle shifters too. That feels so cool. This drives really well. Um, suspension comfort's really good. And something that I do want to mention is, like, this car feels, like, really tight, actually, um, which is which is great. Um, you couldn't say the same about, like, Maseratis from, like, 20 years ago. So uh, you can tell they've definitely put a lot more money into the vehicle. Also, there's radio controls in the back of the steering wheel, too. I didn't mention that in the walk-around, but I just noticed that. Did I did I start filming my reviews during rush hour time in Salt Lake City? <laughs> well, RIP, RIP with my... Uh, driving but so we're in the sport mode <laughs> this is a four-cylinder what that sounds so good for a four-cylinder leave it up to Maserati to make a four-cylinder sound this good paddles are super responsive they feel really good too like the actuation on them feels fantastic I feel like I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of driving, I've, I've driven some Ferraris in the past, so I feel like I'm kind of driving a Ferrari a little bit. Yeah, this is impressive. I hate this road so much, by the way. There's like three million lanes, so you have to like take it super slow, obviously. So let's get another acceleration here. Oh man, this thing's quick. It's quicker, it's quicker than I would think given the power figures that this has. To be honest, how do I get the sustained manual mode? There we go. I got the M mode. We'll get one more acceleration in the manual mode. Um, but uh, sorry if this review wasn't perfect. <laughs> First time reviewing Grucali, okay? Next time I review one, I promise it'll be a little bit better. But anyways, um, I really like how this drives. It's really smooth. And like, in my opinion, this is a huge step forward for Maserati. Like the fit and finish, like this, this is great. Um, like, I don't know, like it's just crazy. Like it feels like this is from a different company. It really does. I'm so impressed with this. Wow, four cylinder guys, that's a four cylinder. Yeah, check out, this thing's cool. Let me know what you think about the new Krakali.